The Terriers welcomed the Navy midshipmen to the roof on Saturday for the regular season finale. BU honored senior tri-captain Kamali Chambers in a ceremony before the tip. Once the game started, it was the Navy seniors that took over. George Kiernan hit three threes in the first half to give Navy an early lead. BU got the last three points of the first half on this Alex Villarino buzzer beater. See if the Terriers come up with some sort of a shot here in five seconds. Here's the guy to do it, Villarino with the great quickness. And he banks it in at the buzzer. Navy led it 46-35 at the half. In the second half, Navy was able to hold on to their lead with the help of the bench. John Carter Jr. had 15 points and Cam Davis had 10 points. Max Mahoney became the 37th player in school history to record 1,000 career points with this bucket off the feed from classmate Tyler Scanlon. And sometimes it is, and maybe this is one of those days for Navy. Terriers go into Max Mahoney, and that is 1,000 points in the career of Max Mahoney. The Terriers had one last effort in them in the final minute, cutting the deficit to three after back-to-back -back threes by Scanlon and Andrew Petcash. Into Kiernan it goes, the ball loose, there's Scanlon. Head cash for three, he's got it! It's a three point game with 38 seconds to play! What a sequence, are you kidding me? Navy was a perfect six for six from the free throw line down the stretch and held on to a 79-74 win. Scanlon led all scorers with 18 points, followed by Mahoney's 14 and Jonas Harper had 11 off the bench for the Terriers. BU dropped to 14 and 17 overall and 7 and 11 in Patriot League play. The Terriers will now host the first round of the Patriot League tournament on Tuesday, March the 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern. That game can be seen live on the Patriot League network on Stadium. Terriers finished their Patriot League regular season at 7 and 11 after falling to Navy 79-74 the final. Joined alongside assistant coach Walt Corbin that second half. Coach, uh, Coach Joe Jones said at halftime, we've got to play better. What did you see in the second half from your team? Well, a little bit more sense of urgency. You know, we were lacking the effort and the, the urgency. I thought they wanted a little bit more in the first half. We finally woke up about 1.30 and uh, realized we, did, we can win this game. Well, it's interesting you bring up the last about 90 seconds of this game. We've seen the resiliency of this team. What was Navy, do you think they were trying to do that you were able to get turnovers and get those last couple buckets to make it close? Well, I mean, we just tried to put, put some pressure on there, and, and, and they, they're not, you know, if you look at statistically, they're not a, a great ball handling team as far as taking care of it and getting against pressure. So we really tried to put guys like Villarino in there and, and, and Jonas, some guys that get heated up and hopefully, you know, give us a chance to get back in the game. As the Terriers now prepare for the first round of the Patriot League tournament, I did want to also talk about Max Mahoney getting his 1,000th point and Tyler Scanlon finishing with 998 in his career after this game. Uh, something to say about those two. Well, it'll be uh, interesting to see what happens Tuesday night. They'll be uh, going at each other to see who can score the most. <laughs> well, certainly we'll appreciate Tuesday night when the Terriers host the first round game. You won't know your opponent until later tonight. So right now you're just in the waiting game. How's that? Well, while you're at home, <laughs> relaxing on the couch, we're going to be grinding out trying to watch some film. So enjoy. I knew it was going to come back to me somehow. Doug, I guess I'm just a couch potato. You get to finish up the stats.